some knife people back again with more of these knives so i try off with a quick little look at this uh mkm maniago knife makers middley uh vox design uh, it's called the Izonzo um, N690 Jade Scales. Really cool little uh, fifth fifth carry, uh, fifth pocket carry, small carry uh, on bearings. Cool little popper. Nice action. Go check that out if you get a chance. A lot of dis uh, retailers have it. Blade HQ, Knife Center, things like that. Um, hope everybody's having a good weekend. We're, of course, going to get into some unboxing, a special unboxing. Another USA made blade. Uh, speaking of USA made blade, I did a little birthday bonfire for the wifey last night and put this uh, next gen to work on some batoning and some feather sticking, and it worked great. So, yeah, for those of you that like fixed blades, can uh, we, we do those on the channel too. So, stay, stay tuned for more of that stuff. But let's get in, into the unboxing today. Again, it's a USA made blade from DLT Trading. And uh, very uh, uh, anticipated on my end, as always. And uh, we'll use the special hinder unboxer. Be very careful. Is this baby sharp. I want to cut the merchandise. So hope everybody's doing good out there. Thank you for everybody that joined the 400 sub giveaway. That was, uh, went well. The winner got his knife. Shout out to Dom. Let's do a little double check here. Something came in here. I'm not sure what it is. Ooh, nice. Check this out, guys. I'm getting super lucky today so that might give it away but gotta show you the contents that is awesome so we're gonna do a little revamping here i did already have my dlt one out there that i got last time that's awesome you guys see it in action damn sweet check that out Thank you, DLT. That's awesome. And of course, in the box, you guys obviously know it's a hinder. Now, let's get this baby out. Put it there. And the rest is all packaging. Of course, it's really good. Giving you stickers. That's awesome. Love that, love that, love that. And this is what we're here for. So this is what we got here. We got a Hinder 3.5 non-flipper, Fullard Spear M390 Battle Green Black G10. <clears throat> and here we go, nice, big knife. Oh wow, you got some good, more stickers with Hinder. You get the little thank you card or assembled by Kim thank you for assembling it sweet you get your little washers I'm assuming it's on bearings or no huh unless they give me extra oh those are spacers sorry okay yeah those silver ones are spacers in there here we go you get too much in there This is what we're here for. Sorry, I'm a little jittery here. Check that out. So this is a battle bronze or battle green anodized. Nice hefty weight. I went ahead and was waiting for the 3.5 to come out. Um, didn't really like it with the flipper. Thought it was a little too protruding. A little too pocket pecker. It does have a triway on there. See that? Pretty hard jimping there. Good size knife. 
uh, fuller thumb studs. I know this is a blade stop, I think, but there we go. Nice. And I also have another little surprise here coming up. If you guys want to see a little sister knife. So uh, let me know if you guys want to see that video earlier. I'm going to try to pump it out today. This is a working finish. Very nice. Very, very nice. M390. Frame lock, of course. There's a lock up. You don't have... Uh, bronzed out hardware it's silver hardware i'll show you why in a minute got a little surprise for you guys um what else here check the closing nice oops can't get it out spidey flick there we go bad at thumb studs guys really nice check out that action again spidey flicking is good <clears throat> Let's look at the black G10, pretty basic thumb stud, I mean thumb flick. That one more time, I think I like that the best. Nice, and again, very substantial knife. Um, I wanted the 3.5 with the choil because you can choke up on it and then you can also retreat back. Uh, big hands, you're gonna have a lot of. A lot of room there with the 3.5. The 3, three inch is pretty small. Um, so yeah, you get up on the choil here. A lot of room. Definitely a good working knife. Um, very sweet. And as you can tell, no flipper here. So you don't have the flip, flipper hanging down. Um, kind of let me show you this one. This one's not so bad on the uh, half track, which is why I liked it also. You see the three inch sizing a little bit. So that's about a more three inch size knife until it's substantially bigger. Of course, it's a different model, but um, the XM18 ones have a bigger flipper hanging out at the bottom. <clears throat> Maybe I got here for show. <clears throat> so what else can I touch on here? Oh yes. You gotta do this also. This is also, this is what I got also from DLT. Uh, I got a, a scale swap I'm gonna do on it. So let's open that up. Sharp. Actually, let's do some more sharp testing on it. Out of the box, working finish. Let's see it right here. Get up on the tip. So very sharp. Nice fine cutting, a little toothy, but very sharp. Very nice. Put this down here. And this is what's in here. Bam! Check that out. So yes, I got a camo digi scale that I'm gonna switch on it. Uh, hopefully it's the right size. Hopefully I picked the right one. Uh, let's look at it here. This is probably what it's gonna look like here. How you like me now, boys? So that'll be the non-flipper green back scale. M390 non flipper 3.5 with a G10 Digi Camo um, scale. So, see how that comes out. Sweet, huh? I think that's nice. That's why I didn't really care too much about the hardware and it being um, bronze color because I kind of liked it that it matches the stop pin or up here. The, so yeah, check out that action again. Woo! What's going on, man? My hands are getting a little slippery here. 
Then you go back to the Spidey flick. See that? Sorry, it's hot out here, guys. So yeah, that's my plan. I'll show you guys on the next video, or maybe I'll do a disassembly video, and that's what it'll look like. Closed. Pretty sweet. I don't know what you guys think about that decision to do that. Um, let's finish off the review here and um, put it on the. Uh, actually, let's do here. Bam. Let's put the scale on. See what it looks like first. There you go. That's what it looks like. Check that out, guys. Up against the hinderer. Nice. That's gonna look bitchin'. Ooh. Let's measure it out here. So, it's here. Full length. You're looking at eight. About eight and a quarter. You got your blade length of almost four inches, about three and three quarter inches. You got your cutting length of three and about a quarter. Mine's about a half inch choil. Your handle length will be about four and a half inches. Goes down there. So yeah, and how about we do some comparisons there? Got some stuff on deck. Let's throw the slim midi out there. Get some bad boys out there. And what else we got? I'll put it up against this hinder since we got it here. Kind of go pivot on that. Check that out. Some bangers. And actually, we'll put this on. Let's see if it stays on. Sweet. That's what it should look like. So, Slim Midi Medford Tonto. Then we got the Atom Three Rivers Manufacturer TRM. Uh, what else we got here for you? Ace Grand Giant Mouse Micarta. These are more eight inch compatible knives, about three and a half inch blades. What else we got here? Oops, there goes the scale. And we'll throw in some spider codes. Of course, you gotta have the paramilitary too. Everybody seems to want that. And the shaman. So again, these are some banger knives. Nice heavy hitter worker knives. Pretty awesome, huh? Almost, I wish I had the uh, Digi Camo Paramilitary 2 to compare it. That would be awesome. But I don't. So, sorry, y'all. Uh, I think that should be good for comparisons. But, yeah, how do you like that? That's why I like the working finish on it. Also, and when it came out, I was like, I had to get it. So... Again, pull some strings, made it happen. So that's it. Um, oh, you know, I didn't get to weigh it for you guys. Get the weight. Also. Bam. Zero down. 5.4 it's a pretty heavy knife but uh again it's just so well built hinder makes these just dope knives really some of my favorite i mean because you can take them apart unlike the medford which uh i guess you void warranty if you if you take it apart um even though it's a banger too uh you know these knives also got a lot of heft to them so these are kind of some good all american knives here uh well worth the money well worth the warranties that they come with 
uh, which is probably why you pay for some of the higher prices. But definitely, I mean, you just see the work, the craftsmanship. Um, I operate equipment and use equipment on a daily basis. Um, so you can really just feel and see the craftsmanship when it comes to these knives. Um, we want to talk about American made knives, uh, you know, the more expensive ones. Um, you know, you, you get what you pay for, honestly. But uh, that's the Hinderer Non Flipper XM 3.5 with uh, the alternate scale I'll be putting on. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully I touched everything. I think it's gonna look dope. It'll be the first hinder I take apart. So I'll try to film that if I can. And again, I'm gonna be opening this baby too. Uh, show you guys off, uh, show you what that looks like. Um, so stay tuned for more stuff. I got a lot more stuff to come. And uh, that's it. I mean, really like this uh, Battle Green. I thought that was awesome. So uh, stick around for more, guys. And as always, you guys know, if you like all these knives, those knives, these knives, all the knives, all the knife contact, stick around, do the YouTube stuff, and stay safe out there, you guys. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Have a good one. Bam.